Spencer Ackerman with Wired.com here at the Navy's brand new laboratory for autonomous systems research. One of the things that they do here in this facility is test human-robot interaction. Ultimately, when the Navy wants to bring in robots to many of its core functions, competencies, bring them actually onto ships and have them do jobs alongside human counterparts, the robots are going to need to know a lot of the things that make us human, like operating on imperfect information, confusing situations, and basically being able to read us like we read one another. So for instance, the Navy's testing out here how Octavia can put out a fire. Let's head to compartment three. You think that compartment three is not under control, but it has been contained. There is also now a secondary fire in compartment five. Some of the other things they're testing in this 50,000 square foot facility in southwest Washington, D.C. are how robots, underwater, aerial systems, sensor systems react in a variety of different simulated environments. So there, for instance, is a big rock climbing wall with three feet of sand for simulating a Middle Eastern arid environment. There's another one that gets up to 80 degrees with high humidity for a Western Pacific Southeast Asian environment and so on. So Octavia will eventually, with a lot of her robot friends, learn how to sort of interact everywhere on the world that the Navy and the rest of the U.S. military goes.